Hi, welcome to Church on the Air, Band of Love Ministries International, your special online TV. And um, we have a very special session in honor of our most beloved nation, Nigeria, who just experienced a 10 day protest. <laughs> I honestly did not believe that they used to be able to go on protest for 10 days, but they did. <laughs> wow. <laughs> In fact, when they did, I said, ah, this youth said, they didn't say one day, one is like two days, 10 days. Wow. I would like to salute your courage, your tenacity, your fortitude. I would like to salute the fact that you are conscious very, very conscious of happenings around you. We salute the fact that as youth, you are not content to just sit back, eat, sleep. Of course, there's no food to eat. That's why you are out there protesting. We salute your courage. Above all, we want to salute the fact that it was peaceful. Yes, some states experienced some violence like Kano, Gumbi, Bauchi, among some other states, Plateau had to quickly put coffee on, but be that as it may, on the whole, on the whole, we want to say thank you so very much for the peaceful protest. Thank you for staying off the street. We say stay off. You didn't stay off. But then a court instruction, a injunction came and you obeyed the court injunction. Even though in some places they did not allow you to even enter the parks anymore. We want to say thank you so, so very much for conducting yourselves excellently. And uh, the few places that there were a lot of havoc, we know that if those that were faceless in those areas had come out to say, let's do it well, let's organize, no, don't go like this, don't go like this. It would have been better controlled. But on the whole, we want to say thank you so, so very much for keeping it peaceful. Again, we say thank you because while we advocated as mothers that don't protest, just send a few representatives, send your voice and stay away. You did not heed us, you still come out. <laughs> and then after the one, day two, day three, we say, you don't do, you do, we hear, come and hear, what could I go back? You still did not hear. On the whole, we want to say thank you so very much for synthesizing the nation. Thank you so much for causing a great awakening to say that it can never be business as usual. We've always said that the problems did not start with this government. And we have always been of the opinion that for anyone to come out at this point in our nation's history to say they want to be president, governors, they have a heart of lion. We salute our president, Asiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu, for coming out in a time like this to want to head the affairs of the nation. Having said that, of course, it cannot be business as usual. That they didn't cause it does not mean that governor, governance, like the youth are protesting poor governance, bad government, doesn't mean that where there are issues to be addressed in government, they should not be addressed or it should not be brought out. So youth want to say thank you so, so very much for your synthesizing the government and synthesizing every one of us. We wish to assure you that it can never, never be business as usual again. The government has had, <laughs> and as they have had, they will put measures in place. They will do a check. I was listening this morning to the news, and already uh, committees have been set up, and they've been going around to ask people, what do you think, how are these? They are getting proper feedback again from the people. So want to say that, please, thank you so very much. But now we must withdraw completely and give government time to work. It's not time to call for another protest. No, 10 days is a big one. Give it time. Give it time. Give it time. Let government be able to respond 
to your request. Give time. Time is very, very, very important. They've just had one year, and while a school of thought says one year is too small to judge a four-year tenor, other school of thought say, ah, that's what they do. One year become uh, two years, two years become three years, three years become four years, four years become eight years. Well, that is why you are coming out. It is good. But as mothers, we want to say that having made your, your points known, please stay off the streets and disregard any further call. Like there is a call for the one million match, all this is no, 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 no. Continuing the strike is saying that you want the nation to go into anarchy. You want us to be like the Arab strings that swallowed up Libya, Egypt, and a lot of other countries that are yet to recover. We must give peace a chance. Yes, there's hunger. <laughs> when this hunger, with the peace, you can find something small to chop and eat, you know, and then go sleep. You know, I tell when I say granite good way, well, eat a few pieces of granite, drink water, with belly go full. <laughs> but if there is a war, you be in the bush. And you can't even cook anything, you'll be eating raw food. That's if you see anything raw, you'll be eating what you should not eat, drinking what you cannot drink. The bed will be um, those who have run for their lives. They will tell you that when they get to where they feel they can rest, they just pick uh, leaves, put the leaves there, carry trunk of a um, of, uh, of, uh, tree as pillow. So I would ask this type of scenario and this one that you see, you can go, you can come in, you can eat, at least all can not be safe at all, at all, no day. <laughs> it is. So for that, we want to say that any further protest will cause havoc, we cause anarchy, we cause a great distress to our nation. So let's desist from any further protest. Thank you so, so very much for heeding the call. And thank you for coming out thus far. You have done well. We must withdraw. Like I said to you that growing up, Bob Marley was one of my best artists because he was philosophical. <laughs> My Igbo and, and Ganja. <laughs> but he will say, he who fights and run away, lives to fight again another day. Mm -hmm. So when you withdraw now, it doesn't mean that you are a failure. It doesn't mean that your, your requests are not met. No, it simply means that tomorrow is another day. And that tomorrow, I assure you, there will be no room for protest because government is listening. Thank you so, so very much for heeding the call to remain at home, ending the strike completely, and giving government time to look into the demands. We celebrate you. We appreciate you. We commiserate with the families that lost dear, precious children, leaders, because all those that came out, you are leaders. You've shown that, yes, you can rule, and you have something to offer. And that is why we say that you, the living children, <laughs> when I don't come out again, oh, Nigeria needs your services. And everywhere else there is protest, like England, there is protest. Please, the youth, let's stop all the wanton destructions of life and property. They don't do nobody no good. No, it's a vicious cycle. Let's stop it. Ghana had a spontaneous reaction by their youth. We want to say that let us put our swords in our sheets <laughs> and give peace a chance. I'd like to give a Bible verse, and that will be Philippians 1.6. Philippians 1.6 says that he who have started this good work will perfect it. The good work of sensitization that you have started, of awakening government that you have started, God will perfect it. I shall allow God to step in. I shall allow government time because they now know there cannot be business as usual. I assure you that indeed you will have a better, better, better glorious Nigeria. A Nigeria that is egalitarian in nature. A Nigeria that is indeed the giant of Africa. A Nigeria that indeed takes her place in the Committee of Nations proper. <laughs> Let me just take a picture. You know, some of our countries now don't to make a picture with they do. Eh -eh, it will be proper. <laughs> Sometimes by Donald Trump caused a step 
when they were at a world gathering and he was at the back and they just showed him, you know, making his way to the front. And he said, how come? <laughs> to his mind, they are number one. So he shouldn't be at the back. He should be in the forefront. That is how Nigeria will be. Will be in the forefront. Not just making up numbers, not making up pictures, but taking her rightful place as the giant of Africa that she is. Thank you so very much for allowing peace to reign. In our country, Nigeria, in Israel, and the nations of the world, in England, everywhere, Ghana, let's allow peace. Iran, the Middle East, we say, please, <laughs> don't attack Israel. We don't need a World War III. Let there be peace all around. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. May his containers of favor and of mercy never leave us all. Thank you all so, so very much for streamlining with us. Thank you for giving peace a chance. It is well with our nation, well with us as individuals and the nations of the world. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, General Overseer of Banablo Missions International. On all the social handles, almost we are there. Check us out if you type the name Edith Atake, E D I T H A T A K E Atake. Our account will pop up. Church on the Air, Banoblo Ministries International. On Facebook, we have five vibrant pages. Search the scriptures, Nation Building, that is bringing you this clip. Ministers of the Truth, when you pray and I pray, there is a God to answer. These are our um, pages, like, share. We are on Instagram as well. And um, on YouTube, we have over a thousand videos. We are on our 2,000 match messages that inspire, that give hope, that encourage, that strengthen you, <laughs> that revive you, that energize you, that reconcile you to your maker. Go like, share, go like, share, subscribe. <laughs> God will richly bless you as you visit our pages. Are you out there and you do not yet know Christ? Then what we say will be a bit difficult because when we say give peace a chance, withdraw this. The self, we want to say, I want to prove a point. Like after two days, we say the strike was enough. We say no, 10 days. But if we do not allow God into the situation, we want to be proving a point, prove a point, to prove that we have power. No, 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 no. Nobody is a winner. Nigeria, the nations of the world, is bigger than any individual. We must allow God in us to speak his peace and to take charge. To do that, all you need to do is to say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. <laughs> Simple prayer. Some of us, like when they used to do attack, we keep coming out. I did several. I can't even remember. I believe I came out over 50 times because it was so simple. So simple. It's too simply sick. But it is so because one has paid the price. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has paid the price. You don't need to be scratched, to be beaten. No, 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 no. All you need to do is to accept the free gift of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Once you do that, all the sins are forgiven. Get a Bible. We emphasize the Bible, B-I-B-L-E, because that is what will make the difference in your heart, in my life. When we give the Bible, God's word, a chance, a place in our hearts, as we study and we make use of that which we hear, our life can never, never, never remain the same again. Somebody will say, I'm very busy. <laughs> I remember there was a time I was too, too busy, too busy to read. What I just did was I got the Android, downloaded the free audio Bible, and when I'm cooking and cleaning, I just put it and just be carrying the phone around making sure it doesn't get to where what i can fall and enter water <laughs> you know and then i play play for example if i play colossians press it again the bible says romans 10 17 faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word as you hear the word as you let it play as you let it play and play and play your life and my life can never never remain the same again as you become to us of the world thank you so very much for streamlining the lord Speak his peace to your heart and my heart continually. Speak his peace to our nation, Israel, and the nations of the world. 
England and all the places where there is problems now, may God intervene. Ukraine and all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so very much. God bless you.